Are you ready to go? Ready for the road trip? Let's go. Hi there, I'm James. And I'm Paul. And this oh, is that's Chompers. Chompers. And this is the Great American RV Trip 2021. We have done this uh, cross-country road trip four years. Last year was a hiatus for obvious reasons, but we're back on the road for year five. This is year number five. James and I have been a couple for 25 years. Uh, actually, we did. We celebrated 25 years this year. Yeah. And uh, last year, because of COVID, obviously we couldn't do our trip. But uh, we just started our big trip this year. We're going from Palm Springs all the way to Provincetown and back over the next, gosh, three months or so. Lots of family and friends in between. Uh, events, stops, oddities. We'll stop it. We'll be camping in national parks, state parks. Uh, we're gonna stop for roadside oddities. We'll be reviewing some campgrounds. We'll be visiting family. So it's not uh, any one thing. It's gonna be a lot of different things. So if you're interested in Americana and what, the, what it's like to travel across the US, subscribe to our channel and you'll be able to join us. Click the button below. Yeah, exactly. So, so this year, we left Palm Springs at 117 <laughs> degrees, the hottest day of the year Actually, so I think it was 120. Well, it was hot enough to leave town, but yeah. we had, did not schedule it around. And our, our first, weather. our first stop was uh, Red Rock Canyon State Park, which is a California State Park. Uh, it's only about a four-hour drive from Palm Springs, so it was a quick, easy first day. However, it's 119 degrees there. It's a great park. It's completely boondocking, and it was 112 by the time uh, we got was, there in yeah. the afternoon, and I think it cooled off all the way to like 98. <laughs> nice. So, needless to say, not a great first night on the road. But we've, we roughed it. We've been to that park before, Beautiful and that park. park is best in fall and spring. It's a great park. Uh, when we got there, though, in summer, it's 100 and whatever, and we were the only ones there. Don't expect Wi-Fi, don't expect services, but expect complete beauty, great sunsets, huge starry skies. And you really park great. right up against the Red Rocks, and there's plenty, if it was cooler, there's plenty of hiking to do, great sunsets. Uh, really nice views, but yeah, probably summer's not the best time. Heading further north, next stop was at an old friend of mine's from San Francisco like 25 or 30 years ago. Uh, he lives in Mariposa, so we climbed up in the mountains a little bit, got a little bit cooler, cooler to us. He thought it was hot, but the we had a great Sierra time Foothills, at yeah. Phillips' property. He's got five acres. It's beautifully manicured. You're going to see some footage here, I'm sure. Um, had a very nice time seeing him, recorded some music. He's a musician, so we had some fun doing that and uh, meandered along to the Bay Area. So we ended up, our first real stop of the trip uh, is the Sacramento Delta, the water of the Sacramento Delta. We have good friends, Jamie, Jimmy and Tracy, who have their boat in Owl Harbor, which Wait, I guess is in us? Isle, Isleton? Isleton. Isleton, Isleton, Isleton Isle, no, California. Isleton. Oh, Isleton, yeah, Isleton. Anyway, we spent, uh, we were able to score a great little campsite under the trees. Right at, in their marina. Yeah, at like, their harbor bunch of campgrounds and they took one or campsites Camp and they took one for us went out on the boat by day went on the delta swam enjoyed ourselves and that's when we finally arrived the heat broke we swam drank well, well, enjoyed lots, lots of time if you haven't been to the sacramento delta uh definitely a great spot to stop there's now we were in a private harbor that we were able to store a campsite in but there's lots of camping many yeah lots of our v parks all along the delta and it's a great escape of the heat jump in the water it's all fresh water until in the sacramento delta so that was a great uh time we did some paddle boarding chompers got on the paddle board chompers was fearless with the water it was a big change we got for to her. play horseshoes and did some other things there so if you're in the area and looking for camping in the sacramento area it's worth driving mm. towards the delta and uh, camping in the region of the delta well, I was just gonna say, so thanks to Philip and Jimmy and Tracy for launching the beginning of our trip. Now we have arrived up in Truckee near Lake Tahoe, up in the mountains even higher, and we're on our own That's right. now for several days, and trucking cracked, our way back to Minnesota. Cracked open the bottle of wine, and we are now we're at um, a place called Granite Flat 
campground. It is a, oh God, is this a no, national? No, Forest Service. It's, it's a National Forest, Forest, Forest Service campground. Uh, nicely mm -hmm. located, very close to Truckee. There's no dump station, no hookups. It's right along the Truckee River, um, but it is also along Highway 89, which is a major road into Tahoe. So if you hear the traffic in the background, uh, that's pretend what you're hearing. Pretend it's the river rumbling, yeah. which is that way. <laughs> it's a beautiful spot, road is that way. but it's, if, you're, um, if you're wanting to get away from it all, it's mostly, for us, it's a stopover. Great campground, very clean, level spots. Uh, I would give it a, um, I don't know, scale of one to 10, probably an eight. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a great stopover. I great mean, stopover. even a couple nights, I think it's, it's, it's very lovely. It's private, uh, quiet as far as mellow. It's, it's a very mellow campground. People are out re rec recreating or recreating all day long, <laughs> yeah. hiking, biking, whatever. Down the, the people are starting river. to show up now at six o'clock or so. So people are starting to come back yeah. from whatever they did all day. Anyway, so it's a, it's a nice, yeah, it's a nice I would spot. say We've it's a good place before. for an overnight. Uh, but from here, we have just, uh, f we'll finish crossing the Sierras tomorrow and begin the trek across Nevada. And we will, oh yeah, yeah, let's have a toast. And cheers. So cheers, thanks for travel. joining us. Don't Here's forget to episode to, one. That's right, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe and below. Enjoy the adventure with us. Cheers. Ciao.